Today I am in the City of London, home to over 500 banks and of course the Bank of England. The City of London is one of the UK's financial hubs once again and today I'm going to tour around and show you where all the different banks are, what it's like to work in the City of London and whether it would be ideal for you. So the City of London is home to a lot of different banks including commercial banks such as Santander, Lloyds and also hedge funds, private equity companies, basically a lot of financial activity that goes on in the City of London. Now, the City of London is quite interesting because it's the oldest part of London. It has been completely destroyed and rebuilt twice. Destroyed first in 1666 from the fire of London and destroyed a bit later on from bombing. So it's a very historic place but it also has a lot of new buildings. So here is the Bank of England, and this is located right in central of the City of London. It's right next to Bank Tube Station and is the UK's central bank. It was established in 1694 to act as the English government's banker, and is still one of the bankers for the government of the United Kingdom today. It's the world's eighth largest and oldest bank. It really plays a major role in the UK economy. So this large building just behind me, just here, is the Bank of England. Now the Bank of England is extremely old and before the 1980 there was a requirement that all commercial banks such as Santander, HSBC had to be a 10 minute walk away from the Bank of England. It's got quite a lot of history and it's quite a popular place for industrial placement students, interns to work because they offer a really really good program. They offer Lots of different roles, such as Treasury, uh, Monetary Policy, lots of different roles which us interns find interesting. This place is also quite an interesting place because it's not really somewhere you would live. There's a lot of offices, there's restaurants, there's places to go, but on the weekends this isn't really a place to visit and it is quite quiet. When it turns weekday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, this place is extremely busy, restaurants are busy, Tube station's busy, but there's a lot of history here. So this building right here is Bloomberg. Ginormous building, there's even restaurants beneath it. Quite popular with interns as well. Tube station, this is Black Bank. Tube station, quite a large one. Now, this place is absolutely littered with exquisite restaurants and places to go eat out. One of the places we just walked past, this place just here, it's called The Ned. You can get in um, on a weekday, but it's very difficult. There's even a membership which you can buy, which allows you to get access to the basement. This basement is just for the super rich, essentially. There, there is a pool on top of The Ned, Sounds like a lovely place to go. Sadly, I haven't been myself, but quite a nice restaurant to go eat out at. There's also many other places, such as Lombard Street, quite a nice restaurant to go to. I think it's quite a common place for people to go have breakfast, have some meetings. But funny enough, in the city of London, there is a few shops. So I just turn the camera around. We have Moss, a suit shop, we also have Roderick Charles, another suit shop. If I look to my left, we have Lloyds Bank. This isn't their headquarter. This is just one of their branches. And also Santander. This is, once again isn't their headquarter, just one of their branch. So I'm currently in the heart of the city of London and you can really see that this is not a busy place at all on the weekend. Now, in this part, this is Guildhall area and there's quite a lot of private equity companies. There's a couple of hedge funds. We've got the likes of Lloyds, Santander, big headquarters for Lloyds here. We also have Metro Bank. So there are lots and lots of banks. 
If I go slightly further up in the city of London, we also have the likes of Goldman Sachs, their brand new mega office. There's Deloitte, which is right next to it, but just generally a very, very quiet place. One thing about this place is there always seems to be construction. Like I said earlier on in the video, 25% of the city of London gets replaced every 25 years. So on a weekday, this place will be absolutely heaving with construction workers. Weirdly, there's not many on the weekend. So this is the Lloyd's building. Now, if you're an industrial placement student or an intern, you've definitely heard of Lloyd's because they are also a very big recruiter. They're quite good for industrial placements because not only if you land the industrial placement, you have a really good job, a really good salary, usually around 21K in London, but also you would typically get offered the grad role there and they do some really cool roles. Once again, such as treasury, lots of other financial things, which is quite a good. I have a few friends there from Loughborough and they said they're really enjoying their place in here. So I'd highly recommend. Considering this is such a big financial hub and a lot of people work in the city of London, nearly over 10,000 people. There's a lot of different restaurants, fast food places that you can eat at. And some examples, you've got Itsu, you've got Farmer J, you've got Pill Pal, you've got, all, you've got all the Tesco's, you've got the Sainsbury's, you've got the Greg's, you've got all of these different things. I must admit it is quite expensive to eat lunch in the city of London. A typical meal costs you between seven, eight, maybe even nine pounds on the upper end, 11 pounds. But I'm not gonna knock the food quality at all because it is very, very good. An example is, you can see here, Farmer J. This is around 11 pounds for a typical lunch, which is quite a lot. Uh, we've got Starbucks here as well. This is, this area that I'm currently in is St. Paul's. So look behind me, see the big cathedral, the area where everyone likes to take pictures not surprisingly. And then as I walk into the center, there's a bunch more restaurants. The city of London is very well connected. There are multiple tube stations around here. You've got Cannon Street Station, you've got Bank, you've got St. Paul's. You've got Moorgate, you've also even got London Bridge, which quite a lot of people go into and walk across. So it's very well connected. Not only that, there's quite a lot of gyms in this area. You've got Pure Gym Monument, Pure Gym Bank. You've got Virgin Active, you've got Nuffield Health. So it really has everything you need for working in this area. Now, as mentioned earlier in the video, this is the Bloomberg building. Bloomberg is quite interesting because beneath the building, there's loads of different restaurants you can go to. One of them is called Brigadier's, really good Indian. And it's just generally a really, really nice office. So along with this place being a really good area to work, a good area to eat out, it's also quite a good area to do some shopping. As you just saw through that shopping center, they had the likes of Zara, they had the Ivy Asia, they had Oliver, they had loads of different places which you can shop at. Not only that, they've just introduced the F1 Arcade, which 
is extremely fun. It's actually owned by F1 and they have lots of different simulations you can do. You can go on different tracks and it's a very good place to go to on a work event. It also has some really good restaurants. For example, you've got the Gordon Ramsay street pizza restaurant. You've got the famous butchers down the road. So it's generally a really good place to work, eat out and have a little bit of fun. Just not the ideal place to go and live as there just isn't many places, many apartments to live in this area. But in summer, it's a really good place to work. And if you're going to be working there next year or the year after, please let me know, please drop a comment. And also please like and subscribe because it really helps the algorithm. Thanks for watching.